Hello everyone and welcome back to Team Rustic. Picking up right where we left off in the last episode this time. And uh, I went ahead and grabbed, apparently there was another half a stack in there. So I was lucky I think in that sense to uh, not mess up hopefully this time around. We're going to go and wash this. Not going to put it over there, but yeah. Anyways, so picking up right where we left off last episode, working on more create. We went to the nether. We did a few other things as well. Uh, for now, we're going to try to get this next quest completed and hopefully not mess this one up. So we're going to put a little fire there. We're going to put the dough there and we're going to see how well this works. This should work fairly quickly. Nether rack here would be much better, but this is fine. All right, so we're going to put that out now because we don't need it. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we do. We're not done. Dang it. I get so ahead of myself. Why? Why do I always get so ahead? All right, don't throw it into the fire. I, I don't understand why I get so ahead of myself. I'm just like, we're done. <laughs> Wasn't even close. Oop, more fire, more fire. Did that like reset? Oh, okay, there we go. Nice. We did the thing. Very cool. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a legendary reward bag and a stack of bread. So it's a kind of a win-win situation. All right, let's see what's in this guy. Oh. No trespassing. No trespassing indeed. Well, this kind of fits my theme pretty well. I was uh, actually thinking about doing something like this and uh, seeing how well this actually would work. But unfortunately, this guy does need power. So there is that. But that's okay. You know what? We're just going to put all the things here, and that way we remember it later on. I love that. <laughs> Very nice. All right, are we lucky? Snake eyes. <laughs> well, it's only one, so I would take this snake eye, but uh, I dig digress. Anyways, uh, moving on. So last episode, we did craft quite a few things. We're slowly but surely working our way to the big kahuna. And look at all this iron. Look at this. I don't even have to do anything anymore. What was mining called? I, what is this? Is, is, this is just called crafting. Craft, right? This is not Minecraft. It's just craft. <laughs> uh, where did I put the other ones of these, by the way? Because I know I had more. Ah, they're s literally sitting right there. Okay, so there we go. We need 21 of these because we're going to need to make ourselves a mechanical crafter. I have no idea how this works, so we're just going to be assuming. Uh, but we need some iron nuggets and redstone torches, so I'll need at least 21 redstone torches. We're going to need a few sticks out of here. We'll start with that. That's probably more than enough, but... We always seem to need sticks, so might as well grab those. All right, we got those. We'll need some iron nuggets. I don't know where we're going to get the iron for this, unfortunately. It's... Such a pain. <laughs> yeah, I went there. All right, so there we go. 21 electron tubes ready to go. And we are also going to need what else? We got that part. We're going to need more cog wheels. We got the crafting tables. We need the brass casings. So this just requires any log and lumber. So that shouldn't be too bad. We'll grab some of these. And we're going to head upstairs. Why didn't I take the elevator? It would have saved me at least four seconds. Sometimes I need to think with my brain, and I just don't do that. <laughs> Thinking with your brain is bad, okay? All right, we need, how many of these do we need? Hold on a second, we need seven crafts of these, so I need 14 cogwheels, right? And this makes how many per? Eight? Okay, that should be enough. And what else do I need with these? I've already forgotten. Buttons? Okay, buttons are good. Uh, maybe more buttons. Maybe a few more buttons. All right, 32, because we're going to need more of those for later, so always good to have a little extra on us. Ah, right, yeah, I need uh, planks. That's what I needed. Okay, so we need our brass casings. So we need how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Got some spare for later. 
And we should be able to craft up these guys once we get our crafting tables out. Where did I put those? There they are. Leave that one guy. That's going to make our seven. And boom! We have 21 mechanical crafters. All right. So now we are in this age. We need to figure out how we're going to lay this out. So it's three, four, or three, five, 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 three. Okay. So we got that. I think we put it right here on this wall. I think that's going to be pretty neat. Let's do that. All right, guy. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to scoot. That means move. That means move. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is cool. I like this. Okay, go. You're fine. You're fine. You almost hit the water. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> oh, that was right. What am I doing? All right. There we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken... I think these need mechanical power. Considering it does say it's a kinetic assembler for automating any shaped crafting recipe, place a multiple in a grid corresponding to your recipe, and arrange their belts to create a flow that exists, or I'm sorry, that exits the grid on one of the crafters. Oh. I have to turn these? So I would want these to kind of go in like so, correct? So like these would be going in. Um, would that work? And then, like, up here, kind of have, like, the extract. I'm going to move this later on because we don't... I don't think we're going to need it more so later, but... Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to craft a barrel because barrels can go in that kind of... I don't know how I forgot to craft a barrel, but apparently I am an idiot. Okay, so, yeah. Barrels can go in that uh, little slot up there at the top, so that should work. It should be able to... Go inside of that barrel. All right. Now, what are we going to need for the crushing wheel? We're going to need... We need... Okay, so this straight up crafts us two anyways. So we need what? All of that. We need a piece of stone. Four logs. I think... Is this how you do it? Four logs, right? Just right-click your recipe in. We need one stone, and the rest is andesite alloy. All right. I've never done this before, so I'm just assuming this is how this works. All right. Now, do I need to apply mechanical power to one of them? Is that it? Let's find out. Um, we have another gearbox, don't we? Good. Good. We might need actually one more. Can I craft one more of these? Okay, andesite casing. Actually, hold on a second. What do we need for andesite casing? Two andesite. We need the logs. All right, we got the stuff on us. And then we have the andesite itself. No, we got the cogs. All right, so there we go. So there's a few extra gear boxes. We're going to get in the back of this. I know this is getting messy, but I kind of want my stuff first, if you know what I mean. All right, I think we only have to touch one of those. So let's just put that there. We'll grab a few shafts. Oops, that's not quite what I wanted. You should be able to go the other way, right? I just need to rotate you. Can I hit you from there? Oop, that's... Don't do that. <laughs> Wait, does that actually change the rotation? What did you just do? Don't ever do that again. No, it's still going the same way. I think that might be faster. 
I'm not sure. All right, we gotta get to the other side. All right, so let's do that. It should work. Put that there. And we need to rotate this guy again. Are you serious right now? You being actually serious right now? What? What? <laughs> okay, that works. Whatever. I don't... You gotta play with these things sometimes, apparently. All right. And then that. Okay. So, this is where this comes into play. I have no idea how this works. <laughs> so that is why I wanted to try this. All right, mechanical crafting. I might have to stop in a second and take a look and see how this actually works. Uh, but yeah. Use a rotational force to precisely move structures in front of it. Oh, that's a piston. What? Mechanical crafter. Where's the crafter? This guy. For automating any shaped recipe, place multiple in a grid corresponding to a recipe and arrange their belts to create a flow that exits the grid on one of the crafters. Stress impact low. When powered by kinetics, starts the crafting process as soon as all the crafters in the grid have been given an item. Okay, so that pretty much tells me that the thing's just gonna work. So, uh, when wrenched at front, cycles the direction of the individual crafter to form a working grid. Arrange the belts in a flow, which moves all the items towards the final crafter. The final crafter must point away from the grid. Right, okay. I did that, right? Do I need to, like, maybe do something more like this? And does the center need to be turning? Dang it. Stop it. All right, where's the center at? I'm assuming... All right, so the center would be this one right here. I'm just guessing here. I don't really know if a center is actually necessary or not, but we're going to find out. So that means we need to raise this guy up one. Put that guy there. And we'll also have to turn you in such a way. Where you're going to go the way I want. Oh, that is working. Okay. And gearbox there. Gearbox there. Gearbox there. Is it not enough speed? It very well be not enough speed. Or I'm not cranking into the right spot dang it karma from the wolf yeah i should have figured darn it <laughs> i need an easier way to get back up and down apparently or i could put the uh i could put the elevator down at the bottom i guess that would probably help out maybe a little bit let's see how much iron we've gotten oh man we're looking good that's what i'm talking about so I feel like I'm missing something on this thing. Mechanical arm. For relocating items. It's not that. So when powered by kinetics, starts the crafting process as soon as all the crafters in the grid have been given an item. Right. Okay. So let me double check and make sure the recipe is correct. Um, it looks like that would be correct. That's any forged stone. And that is andesite alloy on the rest of them. Those are planks, correct? Yep, any planks. So that's working. Let me um pick up and put back. Okay. I'm not quite sure where you need this power at. So here's what I'm going to do. 
for the sake of trying, I'm going to put a water wheel here. This is my experimenting and in, to learning. Um, I'm going to put one here just to see if that does anything. I don't know if this needs like a gear. Maybe it needs a gear. Maybe it needs a gear. All right, look, we're already on this, so let's just try this first, all right? We're just gonna try this guy first. How's that not working? There we go. Whatever works, right? All right, I don't see, I, I'm pretty sure these things are supposed to be moving, so I think that's what's supposed to happen. So I think we messed up. So I th I'm, I'm guessing, I'm just guessing here. I think we need a, either a cog wheel or a little cog wheel. One of the big ones or little ones. Actually, I might need that. I need to clear up some space real fast. You know, I made way too many of those. I just realized <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. I did not know how much of a moron I actually was today. All right. Let's see, let's do, which one of these would connect? I'm assuming, okay, that one's too big, I think. Is it this one? I think it's that one. I think it's that one. So how could I supply power there? Or how about I just do it down here? Would this work? Make sure we pick up all of our goodies. Don't want to leave those around and about. All right. And you, you, you. Oh, overstressed. Okay, so that tells us we did something right, I think. Ish. Overstressed. So that means we probably need more mechanical power, right? I'm assuming. So this thing takes more power than water wheels? Or do I just have this kind of like in the wrong spot? Maybe it's because we have it trying to go on two sides, maybe? All right, we're gonna do something kind of dumb. Bear with me for a moment. I must test. I'm guessing this is not going to work. Yeah. It appears that this contraption is overstressed. Add more sources or slow down the components with a high stress impact. Add more sources or slow add more sources, huh? Would that work if I did that? Oh. That just says no. <laughs> That's just like no. All right, so this is me figuring out that I think we need a different form of power. So with that being said, the book here is telling us to do this. So you can also crush living entities, all that good stuff. Um, we're not quite there yet because creates changed a lot. Also, you want me to make four of these? Excuse me? Okay, maybe eventually, maybe eventually. Also, the basin's pretty cool. I'll have to maybe consider making that at some point. Um, yeah, so I think we need to, because I've been messing with um, this a little bit with some friends. I think I understand what we might need to do. And I think we need... To possibly go wind power. Didn't this at one point have integration with that? I thought. So windmill bearing. So we're pretty high up. And this might work out alright. So we do need a turntable. Which is wow. Surprisingly easy to make. And that is a quest that we need to do. So boom. Did that complete that? It sure did. I don't want to listen to you spin me right round right now. So we're going to put that away. So we only need one bearing, as far as I'm concerned. 
So we're just going to grab that. I think we need a shaft. And we're going to make the windmill bearing. All right. So we got that guy. And putting him out here would actually be pretty neat. I think maybe like... Let's do something like this. So I know where balance it is. Maybe have it come out the edge here. All right. I need to rotate that. There we go. All right. So that will put that out a block away from us. So this is pretty cool. So um, windmill pattern. I think it is a sail. Yes. White sail. There's a sail frame and the white sail. So we need sail frames, which is just this. And the more of these, the better. And that is not too hard to do. We just need some other stuff, which we can pretty much make. So, okay. All right. Let's get 24 of the... Actually, you know what? 48 sounds like a good number. We'll grab our andesite alloy. See how fast we go through that stuff, by the way? Yeah, pretty quick. Uh, then we just need a little bit of wool. And I think we need a center block as well, but I think these sails will connect uh, if I remember correctly. So let's just grab... I don't think... Oh, I do have a little bit of wool. So that'll be uh, helpful. How are we doing? Oh, man, almost three stacks of iron. Man, it's so good. So good. Oh, I hate that. I wish we could get rid of that arrow there. That gets on my nerves. Always messes me up. Okay, hi. Please no be mad. Please no be mad at Bentley. I did no such thing. Today, good day. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can set this up now. I need to go out of block, don't I? Yes. And I think if we do this and we put some sails on. Okay. Um, there we go. Do, do I need to make a platform out here? Is that what I'm going to have to do? <laughs> if I, if, if I fall, I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to be happy, Tim. Oh, come on. Give me that back. I need a magnet now too, don't I? Actually... No! You know what? Too bad. So sad. Oh, come on. This is kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. It's a little annoying. Now, how to initiate this? I actually have no clue. I actually have no idea. You know, I have a lot of these. I really don't know what kind of shape I want to go with. I need to, like, look at windmill shapes or something. Maybe something like this. Glad we have building blocks. And then on this side... Kind of like a windmillish. All right, right click with a bearing, right click the bearing with an empty hand to attach the structure you just built in front of it. Ah, oh, okay. Um, we got a few extra, so I think the more we do, the better. So let's just add a little extra on top, some sprinkles, if you will. Please, I hope this works. I really hope this works. The problem is, is I have to keep doing the stupid structure in front and it's getting on my nerves and there's one down there I still gotta go get and all that stuff. Oh, okay. All right, let's get rid of that. We're gonna go down and get that other piece that we dropped so we can use it later. Do I take the easy way or do I take the hard way? Easy way! Because it's the fun way. 
Not the Funway guy, which is really cool, by, might I add. Funway guy is really amazing, dude. Uh, but yeah, just a fun, fun thing. All right, so where's that piece at? It has not been five minutes. There's no way it's been five minutes. Exactly. That's what I thought. All right, back up to the windmill. We're going to right-click on it and see if it works. Yeah, that looks like a windmill. Kind of. We could totally get a little bit bigger later on, but... All right, so we just right-click it now? Is that what it said? With an empty hand. Ah, did the thing. Motion. We have made motion. The question, though, is if that is enough. I'm going to bet on no. I got my money riding on no. That and I believe these. I would assume things like the gearbox is kind of slow things down a little bit. We will need them, though, to extend from out here all the way over, though. I just, I kind of got a feeling. Is that actually going to reach? Is that actually going to reach? <gasps> it's spinning. It's alive. Oh, oh, it's doing the thing. It's doing the thing. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. And all we needed to do was make a windmill, which I think the size of the windmill does is, is dependent on. I think also the height also probably in this mod, I would assume. So a lot of those factors are probably going to be in play in, when trying to do this. So make sure if, if it's not working for you and you have something very similar to what I have, I would just assume maybe you might need a little bit more. Oh, that is so cool looking. I see what it's doing now. Oh, this might be one of my new favorite mods. Oh, that makes me happy. It literally is turning into a crushing wheel. I love it. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. I love you. I love you so much. Screenshot. Boop. Just in case I want it for later. <gasps> oh, wait, hold on. Get another one. Oh, that's so neat. I like it. There's our crushing wheel. Are you going to go in the chest now? I think it's going in the chest. Oh, yep. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves our crushing wheel. Oh, that's so good. I do like the windmill. We're going to have to set that up and support it a little bit better, though. And there we have it. Legendary. Legendary, like myself. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. We're going to set that bad boy up here in a second, but let's clean up the inventory real quick for this reward bag. Throw some random stuff. I don't need that anymore. Honestly, I don't really need all of these. I don't even need any of them, honestly. Let's just put those away. If We got this thing. I, I like that better. It's like a one-shot. We just need arrows, so we'll hold on to that. Let's just clean up. Sort, and boom! What did we get? Grants immunity to blindness. Oh, that's cool. And common shader grab bag. Look at the draw. Oh, we got an epic level. Twilight. Is that a good one? And masterwork sh- Wait, what? Crimson Lotus. Masterwork? Isn't that like from like Destiny like stuff it's like masterwork is like not destiny. What was that other game? Anthem it's like masterwork is like the best it's Like the legendary status so there we go ladies and gentlemen We have completed that unfortunately we won't be able to do that But we can start setting up some of the other neat things. I'm glad this works. I love this by the way What else can we craft with the mechanical crafter anyways? Quick way for me to do that is just to go there and there. Um, 
So the extendo grip, which is really cool, might I add. Uh, integrated circuits to make a furnace engine. Oh. Oh. I still got to learn this whole stress thing, but that looks pretty not hard to do. And then the flywheel as well. So there we go. I like it. I love it. All right. I, I need to fix that. I need to fix that. Let's go. I don't think I can take that out another block. I think that would mess with it a little bit. I don't know. That might be out of range. I kind of want it out one more block. Just... So we have like the strut, like it looks like it's being supported at least a little bit better. Let's, let's find out. Yeah, that looks good. We'll do it that. That's cool. All right, so we'll do that for the moment. Also do this, and then we can put that back. That'll look underneath like it's kind of supported that way. Um... Maybe something like this as well for the moment. I was thinking about a structure that comes down from there, but... Uh, I, I, that's, that's good enough. I, I gotta figure out how I wanna do that. I, I'm not gonna leave it like that, but that's pretty all right. Let's go down and take a look at it from the bottom and see how we did. Yeah, not too bad. Might need to change up the block a little bit, but I like the underneath coming out as well. Also, I think we can dye those uh, windmill blades, the sails. Oh, hiccup, sorry. I think you can dye these also. I think, I think, I'm not entirely sure. I could be wrong. I think you might be able to. So anyways, that looks pretty good. Guys, that's gonna do it for today though. We got it working. We crafted up the uh, wonderful grinders. Can't wait to try setting those up. Look at all of this. Look at all that iron. Look at all this. Here, buddy. Enjoy some potatoes. Give me, give me all what you got. Perfect. Seven more emeralds. Sure thing. I don't know. I think he does run out of trades after a while. I should probably just go ahead and trade him some more pumpkin pie as well. We got plenty of emeralds. We're, we're sitting pretty happy right now. Did he level up? He did! What do we get? Four melons and cookies. You have awful trades. I want you to know that. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um... If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, you guys can also always, you know, check out some of my other videos or come join me over on Twitch, where I stream every single day, except for Sundays, where I record these. And you guys can come watch me play some Minecraft with either friends or myself or uh, whatever I have going on during that day, which is generally mostly Minecraft stuff, so... Thank you guys again. Love you to death. And hopefully we'll catch you guys back in another one very soon. Until then, goodbye.